Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 8th of September 1941, the Siege of Leningrad, one of the longest and most destructive military sieges in history, began. Nazi Germany's Lebensraum foreign policy had sought to secure living space for future generations of Germans in the Thousand-Year Reich. Hitler made it quite clear that he intended the fertile lands of the Western USSR to provide food for his new empire, while the native Slavic population would be destroyed and replaced with ethnic Germans. Leningrad, which is now known as St. Petersburg, was a politically significant Soviet city due to its role in the Bolshevik Revolution. Furthermore, it was a centre of industrial production and had military significance as a base for the Baltic fleet of the Soviet Navy. Consequently, when Operation Barbarossa's invasion of the Soviet Union began on the 22nd of June 1941, the capture of Leningrad was a key German strategic goal. By September, Army Group North, under the command of German Field Marshal Wilhelm Ritter von Lieb, had reached the southern outskirts of the city, whilst the Finnish army had approached from the north. Meanwhile, more than a million people from the civilian population of Leningrad had prepared extensive fortifications to assist the approximately 200,000 Red Army defenders. Although the city's defences held, by the start of September, Leningrad was almost entirely surrounded, with its communication lines severed. The Germans attempted a final push, but unable to overcome the defensive fortifications, Hitler ordered that the city be starved into submission. Over one million civilians died as a result of the ensuing siege that lasted for more than 870 days. The Red Army was eventually able to repel the German forces, and they lifted the siege in January 1944. 